Hey everyone, it's the Crypto Lark broadcasting to you from New Zealand, and I wanted to bring you a hot news story that has just come off of the press. A New York Times article citing a report claiming what we have all long suspected about Tether may indeed be true, or at least partially true. While they don't have the definitive proof, there are no emails from Bitfinex to Tether saying, bump it. But from looking at the transactions, what has been recorded on the blockchain, the inputs, the outputs, it doesn't look pretty. And Tether and Bitfinex have both been in the spotlight a lot in the last year. And it's been highly problematic for the cryptocurrency space. The article primarily claims that in December and January, when we saw the all-time highs of Bitcoin, much of that price pump was being done by the printing of Tether. In January, the CFTC subpoenaed Tether and subpoenaed Bitfinex. And after that subpoena was issued, one third of all Tether now in existence has been issued. So Bitfinex doesn't care, Tether doesn't care, and I may as well talk about them as the same organization because they are the same organization. Bitfinex and Tether, the more you look into it, you start to realize that it is a web of dirt. There is the wash trading that happens on Bitfinex. There are the scandals involved with Bitfinex and Tether. The fact that the Paradise Papers, the whistleblowing report, the Paradise Papers, was what had to come out in order for the owners of Tether to step forward and say, oh yeah, by the way, we are the owners of Tether. But they're also the same owners, the same people behind Bitfinex. When we see the Tether printing press in high action, well, it's problematic because at the worst possible scenario, Tether is relatively insolvent and they don't have anywhere near the amount of money that they're claiming. Um, and at the perhaps best possible alternative, they're simply practicing fractional reserve banking whereby they have $1 for every $10 they're lending out. But that was not the promise of Tether. And Tether is nothing but a string of broken promises and scandal. We have a situation where Tether has been unaudited. They have promised audits. Audits have not been forthcoming. The last thing that they said was as good as an audit was they had an outside organization come in and say, audit us, but the audit that came out specifically said, this is not an audit. So how can you trust this? And the, the most reliable information we have right now on the solvency of Tether is that a guy talked to a guy who talked to a guy who said that he saw the bank accounts and that it's all good. Come on, guys. We all know that's not good. Look, Tether is a massive systemic risk to the cryptocurrency ecosystem as we know it. And this live stream here on Twitter is not designed to spread FUD because that is not the purpose here. Knowledge is power and you have to know what is happening. You have to understand that the CFTC has subpoenaed Tether. You have to understand that Tether is unaudited. You have to understand the dirty dealings that have happened over at Bitfinex. Because if you are invested in cryptocurrencies, this is the knowledge that you have to have. It is time to start moving away from Tether. I have long said and long believed that Tether is a massive risk and that if Tether goes down, it could absolutely crash the cryptocurrency markets. Now, does that mean that Bitcoin's going to end because Tether was a giant fraud? No, of course not. Does that mean that the whole cryptocurrency ecosystem is going to disappear and all these projects are going to disappear because Tether was a giant fraud? No, of course not. But the reality is, is that Tether is going to come down unless they come out immediately with an audit saying, here is our money. But with all of these claims going around, 
reporting on the potential fraudulent activities of Tether, you would think that if they were legitimate, they would want to actually get out there and put something in front of the audience to help calm fears, say, hey, here's our bank account information, we have the money. Why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't they get an, a third party auditor in with the months upon months upon months of printing out Tether, no auditing, it is incredibly suspicious. All it takes is for the US to claim jurisdiction here. And some of you might think, well, but look, Tether is not based in the US, it doesn't matter, they're in the British Virgin Islands or wherever they're based at. The US has a history of claiming jurisdiction. The mere fact that they're using US dollar Tether gives the United States jurisdiction. In the Societe Generale case, where Societe Generale was fined by the United States for dealing in US dollars with Iran, proves that the US will claim jurisdiction when the US dollar is used. And they're getting more and more attention from regulators. Now, what can you do? I don't want to just talk about problems, I want to talk about solutions. What can you do? Stop using Bitfinex. I haven't used Bitfinex for a long time. I would suggest that you find other exchanges to use. There are plenty of exchanges on offer. You do not have to be using Bitfinex, especially if Bitfinex ends up going in a Mt. Gox kind of situation where the exchange gets shut down potentially by regulators in this situation. You don't want to have your money in Bitfinex. Of course, it's never a good idea to have your money sitting around on an exchange, but certainly not in Bitfinex. Start using the alternatives to Tether. This is perhaps one of the most important things. If you are hedging in and out of your positions and you're using a stable coin as a way to work the markets, great, great. My hat's off to you for trading wisely, but trade even wiser than that. Because God forbid you should have all of your money sitting in tether the day that the FBI kicks down the door of their bank. That would be highly problematic. You need to start looking into the alternatives. True USD is promising much more transparency, certifiable on the blockchain. Look into it if you haven't yet. We have Digix Gold, gold backed tokens. You can trade straight out of your wallet via like Kyber Network. So start looking at the alternatives, guys. We have MakerDAI, we have the Haven Nomen tokens coming. Unfortunately, all the alternatives are still low market cap and are nothing compared to the 2 billion plus of Tether that's out there but we can only start moving to those alternatives as quick as possible. But hey, those are just my thoughts on the current cryptocurrency markets and the report that has come out about Tether. You guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below.